So I think we're going to move into the meat of it. We're going to do a quick daytime. A lot of folks have written to me. I listen to everybody that writes me. There are days I swear to you, I get 300 emails. <laughs> I swear, that's literally true. And uh, myself and, and my daughter answer everybody. We answer almost everybody. <laughs> and it's an awesome job just to answer all the corporate email we get. We also get private messages and all the forums that we uh, work on. And we obviously get a huge amount of phone calls. And this year, we've had a lot of pressure on us because a lot of people say, look, I don't live in a cave. I want to see how these TVs perform in <coughs> higher ambient light. So we're trying to rush through that because the sun's setting. And um, we're going to do a very brief. We don't have to go through all the attributes of picture quality for high ambient light. We kind of like to kind of look at who looks the best, who's, who can maintain a bright image level, and, and who can hold their black levels. So I think that's pretty much what it is. And also, because we're getting into the ballots and voting, there's a couple of guys that came in late. By the way, manufacturers and press cannot vote, uh, and I can't vote. We have two votes. One is the panel of experts. They vote. We publish those results. And then the public votes. So uh, if you guys came in late and you're not in the press or a manufacturer's uh, employee, you need to register over here so you can get a ballot to vote on the attributes. So let's move right on into daytime viewing. In terms of equipment, we all have K10, Klein K10 uh, meters. Mine's a Klein K10A, actually, which is the latest version. Both Dwayne and David are upgrading theirs in the very near future. Um, I believe that it goes, it's capable of measuring black down to 0 0.00001. Ridiculous level. It's, uh, it's below, way below what any display device um, is capable of doing. In addition to that, we made sure that all three of our meters are um, measuring within, they're actually the biggest error that we can find on white, gray, or color material or luminance was 0 0.002, and that's invisible. You cannot see that kind of error. It's very, very small. We're satisfied that the meters are giving us uh, accurate results, all three of them, um, enough to the point where you couldn't see the difference if there is, you know, between, um, between them. We profiled it, um, we profiled them on, against my CS200, uh, my Konica Minolta CS200, which is a reference grade um, meter using control cal, uh, excuse me, using CalMan software. Uh, and speaking of the software, we calibrated everything with CalMan uh, Pro software version 5.1. Um, Except for the Panasonic's, which we also use the CalMan software because it's much easier to calibrate with CalMan. I mean, a control you mean control cal, cal. Control cal um, on the Panasonic's and the ISF modes. One, it, it um, allows you to calibrate without having the menus up, and any calibrators out there, you will get different results um, between just plain Jane patterns and patterns with the menus up. So it eliminates that um, actual um, deficiency, and then on top of that, there is a bug in the firmware on these displays when it comes to the ISF modes where one, the copy all to all inputs does not work at all in <coughs> the ISF modes. And two, um, there's also a bug where if you can copy something, it will copy, like for instance, ISF night, if you can copy something, it will actually uh, copy it as ISF day. They'll take the settings of day and throw it into night instead of throwing night into night. So with uh, Control Cal, we can do all of those functionality um, things that um, make this display, as you can see, the way it is right now. So that's Panasonic's firmware bugaboo. Yes. Um, equipment, the, what you're looking at is Blu-ray, obviously, coming out of a um, OPPO VD93, we have two of them in the rack. They, are, they have dual HDMI outputs. We're sending the video out of HDMI, one of the HDMI outputs directly into the key digital switcher, keeping the video from going through another um, AVR, sending the audio out of the second output to the AVR, which reminds me, can we get audio on yeah. this? Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Is it muted or something? 
And you know, if you stand near the mic, they'll hear you better. And oh, where is the mic located? Right over here, right there. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta stand right in the center. Uh, but I don't want to do that because I'm blocking this beautiful plasma in day mode. So I gotta. Um, is that, we could all is that good? The goal in the day mode was 2.0 gamma, um, accurate grayscale, obviously, accurate color space, color gamut, uh, and get it as bright as possible without dis any distortion in the picture or any degradation of the performance. Um, so take a good close look. Remember on your uh, LEDs that off angle is an issue, so you might want to uh, rotate in your seat when you're looking at the Sony specifically or It'll be easier on these two panels over here because we've got them on articulating arms at a 45 degree angle to the audience. So part of um, your ballot is, is day mode. So please pay attention to all these displays. Take a good close look at them. We're going to want you to vote on the day mode. Tell us which one you prefer, which one you like the best. Can you explain why the same song has such a big brightness? Why it has what? Increased brightness. Uh, well, if we look at the numbers, uh, it's probably because it's brighter than some of them. Um, yeah, I think he's talking about the F8000 in the corner. Let me see. Uh, Do you have the, the data? We need a copy of the data. So right now, you guys have to pay attention to uh, sort of higher ambient light, which, which one produces, in general, a best picture. So you're going to rate them from 1 to 10 uh, on picture quality, overall picture quality in moderate ambient light. Versus 1 being better than 10 or 10 being better than 10? We're doing 10 as the best, right? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. OK. <laughs> 10 would be the best. Even off angle, uh, between the VT60 and the ZT, you'll see differences a little bit. Mm -hmm. even That's unsurprisingly I, true. But I think it's because of the filter. This Luver filter that's on these panels, they actually work on the horizontal axis also. So what you're going to see throughout the night is, if you're smack dab in front of this, and you look over to the left to the ZT, the ZT is going to look lighter than this in black levels. And then when you move over here, it's going to be the exact opposite. But can we tell them? Yeah, you can okay. tell them now. I can tell Based on the measurements, they are identical in black level. Uh, light output is slightly better on the VT by five foot Lamberts. Color tracking is identical in between the two. So the benefit of this panel is the filter for high ambient light. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, and also Alex is right as well, if I may say. They look very, very, very similar. Uh, would you concur with that? What, between the VTs? Yeah. They're identical. It's, it's, they're identical, right. Okay. In the dark, we were looking at it for quite a while last night. We could not tell the difference between the two panels. And we'll see that again later tonight. Right. Yeah. Now, being that we have the Samsung in between these two, keep in mind that your eyes work with three different panels. One is going to be much brighter than the other. So at this distance with this panel in between, they may, the colors may look a slightly different between the two. But if we turn this off, it's going to be identical. And we did do that. And last we night. did that last night, so we can evaluate that ourselves. Also, we've rearranged this wall a few times, so there were quite a few nights where we had the VT and ZT butt up against each other. Uh, so we've spent an enormous amount of time evaluating these panels. And uh, last night we did. Thank you. We yeah. did shut off the 8500, so we can get a better view as well, just for the comparison of the two. We got two guys that are interested in talking. You're first. The, so there's a kind of a dichotomy with the ZT in that it's, it's giving you better ambient light rejection, but yet it's got a little bit lower light out, doesn't it? Right. Yes. So Thank you. The filter, the filter, filter reads, some reduces some of the light out. How much? What's the difference in foot five foot About lambers. five foot limits. 35 on the VT was the max, 30 on the ZT was the right. max. This, of course, was in the ISF mode. That and how much is the difference in minimum luminance levels? None. They're, None. they're exactly the same. They measure That's dark zero, 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 zero. No, excuse me, 0 0.0013 foot lamps. They measure the same? Identical. Between three different meters. Right. Because that's another thing that we check. We yes. are identical in our clients. Yeah. And so David, you had a question as well? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Can you get more usable brightness out of the ZT without clipping? No. No. Okay. Not at all. 30 is the ceiling. 
there is no. the ceiling. We have actually have both of these panels at a contrast of 100, just to prove the point that it's not the settings, it's the panel. They're, it's the filter actually on the panels that are causing this light output to be dimmer. David, you had a question? Oh, we'll yeah, see so that the F8500 uh, decision to calibrate the cinema and crank it all the way. Was, did you guys try other picture settings and try to yes. get more light output out of them? I'm just curious why you decided we, to We chose the movie mode, by the way. Sorry, yeah. the movie. So you're talking about what, the Samsung did? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. the F8500. Why did you guys decide uh, to go into My decision, point? that was my decision because of accuracy. The movie mode on the Samsung has always been the most accurate mode. I, I, day mode or not, I want to retain this accuracy. Grayscale tracking, uh, color, etc. Is it possible we could um, have even had more foot lemons in another mode? Here? It's possible. The gradation um, would be rougher. You can make the standard mode. You can make the grayscale nearly as good, but the gradation is slightly rougher. But what well, was the foot lemons? This uh, 59. Mm, fantastic. Which is pretty pretty darn good for. So a 59 body, and 64 inch 35 and 30. Correct. So, sorry, David. You said the difference why you decided not to use standard was. Gradations. Gradations. And we also, I don't believe the 10 point white balance is active. It's not active. Yeah, it's not standard active. Either. You just have two point settings, right? right. Yeah. I mean, the movie mode in this, it's not them either. <laughs> but, so. but if you're willing to accept a little bit of yes. grayscale hit um, and accuracy, you could get 80 at least, right? Uh, I, I think we got 66, actually. Yeah, so you know, you're probably right. Yeah. But I'm just curious what. Would you want more than 60? 50? That would depend upon you're in a high situation. That would depend upon the environment. Absolutely, yeah. it it depends upon how bright a day mode you need. But um, yeah, so no, I mean, with the time constraints we have, with the, the amount of work with six panels to, to get all this work done, uh, to go and measure and play with every mode just wasn't in the cards. <laughs> so now we want to take a quick vote, one to ten, on just the general feeling of how these panels are performing and standing up to reasonable ambient light here. We know that that's the ZT. We know that's an F8500. We know that's a VT. Give one more scene too. 60. Do, do you have anything that shows up the brightness? We obviously know that's Panasonic's WT60 IPS panel. We know that's the new F8000. Okay, so everybody quickly do the votes. We got more of the agenda on here. Kind of looking at which panels can stand right. up to the higher ambient light. That's and this the is day mode high ambient. That's correct. Day there you go.